you're just going up through um, Neo Horio village. And I'm going to go out one of the back roads up to Teresa and Inia. I've never done these roads, so I might get lost. As you can see, there's a lot of work going up in the village. And when it's done, it'll be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. It's off the beaten track. So I don't really know it that well. And as you can see, it's bloody filthy. So I'll have to be careful. And we're going up there. Jesus. This little bridge here keeps collapsing. Very old apparently. Got a steeper than I remember. Jesus. But it's a beautiful day here in Cyprus. A little bit blowy. And this is what their sea roads are like, <laughs> their back roads basically. They're just concrete. And they always drive. Someone always manages to drive in um in the freshly laid concrete. Everywhere you go there's there's tire tracks in freshly laid concrete. is very rural but also very pretty there's a few villas up here look this one's just almost finished being built and there's an identical one here just beyond it Oh look, we got a water splash. It's more of like an old goat trail. Do you see, look, there's lots of goats around here. There's a goat farm just up here, you'll see. They all hide underneath the cliffs. And keep out of the weather. Should have bought a bloody Enduro, shouldn't I? See, look, all the goats, look. They all hide under the cliffs. God, it stinks of piss. <laughs> this goes up to... Uh, um, an old abandoned Turkish village. It's supposed to be abandoned, but there's still people here. Called Andralika. Oh, Christ, got an itchy nose. Ugh. Right, where do we go? I reckon up here. Now this is, this is the old abandoned village. It was abandoned after the 
1974 war when when Turkey invaded and um, and the Turks went to the north north of the island my history is not great on this place but that's what I gather and it is a bit knackered look that's definitely abandoned right Neo Horio in here here we go I've never been up here before, so... I'm sure this is the first time a lot of people have seen this. So I can't, I can't imagine many bikes. Um, take videos up here. And what haven't I seen so far? A single car. I must remember to keep my head not sharp movements, slow movements. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Wow, man. Hey, we got a car. I'd love to be able to attack these corners, but I just don't know how much dirt is on the road. Because um, the locals here in Cyprus, they've all got 4x4s, and they love to go off-road wherever they... Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that view. They love to go off-road and drag all the mud onto the roads. So you can never keep... Every time you take your bike out or your car out, you've got to clean it. They're a nightmare. But hey, it's their country. Do what they like, I guess. This is such a cool little road for views. Wow. Everywhere you look. Everywhere you look is a view. I've been told there's a radar station up here which looks out for Turkish planes and the like, you know. And some of my friends told me they were taking photos around it and and they got arrested. <laughs> they thought they were like spies this radar base until they showed them all the Christmas photos that went with all the photos they were taking around the radar bay so they let them go they were going to put them in prison until they until they got to the bottom of it but they let them go there you go I'll just stop so you can have a look this is looking out over the Acamas on the west coast. Oh my god, everywhere you look. That's looking down to Lachi and Pomos right over at the tip there. Reminds me a little bit of Old Harry and um, Studland Bay. Obviously not so expensive. I have been to Inia before, I, I stumbled across it last week and it's it's a village that they've actually finished and it's it's absolutely stunning. Kind of reminds me of Cornwall because um, of all the stonework, everything's, everything's built out of stone, well stone clad anyway. 
because all the buildings are concrete and they're bloody freezing cold. As I found out this winter, it was a little bit chilly at times and there's, there's no proper heating. You've just got an old, an old colour gas fire, well a new colour gas fire, and that's your heating. Obviously you've got air conditioning and that blows out heat. What a lovely village. There's a concrete path here I've been told that, that goes down to um, Turtle Beach which is which is Lara Bay in the middle of the Acamas. I mean most of the most of the Acamas is um I do know this this junction. Most of the Acamas is uh, is for off-road vehicles, there's no proper road, so it's pretty rough. So you do you do a full-on enduro bike, you know, it'll be fine, but it's a bit tricky on this sometimes with street tires. But look at this village. Isn't it wonderful? This is what they're doing to our village. They're almost finished. Pano Arades, which means upper. Pano means upper, I think. So here's another village they've done. Cobbled streets. Every, every village has got its own church. And square. Have a look up here. What's up here? And it's ever so slippy, these cobbles. Got to be careful. Great little puss. Uh, I think I'll, that'll do for today's video. So if you like, if you like what I'm doing, hit subscribe because it helps me out and um, makes me want to do them, you know, when people are interested, obviously. So yeah, hit subscribe, hit like if you like it, and if you, if you want to be notified when videos, when my next video comes up, hit the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.